Hello and welcome to another Hades tutorial. In this class we'll be learning how to do a smudge style, very much like this one here. If you can see all the the, the details in the background and the depth of the smudge over on the left hand side looks okay and the, the right or not the right hand side sorry the left hand side could have done a, a little bit of work more. Here's another um, tag that was done in the same style. Um, um, it's a really cool style and when you walk it into a tag it really comes out really well. Right so first off you make a new document and you set the um, whatever signature size you want or whatever document you want, it's all the same. And it's actually a really good idea to increase the resolution because we're going to be zooming in a lot and the closer you can go in the better the detail. So I'm going to pick around 200 of it. Um, you can make your background black, but I'm going to make mine black just because it's for the tutorial. And I'm going to have a cyan colour and with my brush I'm going to make a, it's not a wee dot. And with my smudge tool, over oh there I zoom in. I am going to drag it out like so. And by the way, guys, the strength I'm using is 97. Don't know if you can see that. I advise you to watch this tutorial in the larger screen because it's the resolution of this um, um, video will be uh, 1280 by 720, I think. And um, it's just better to see, you can see things better. So it's stretch strength. But yeah, just drag out the side like that, and then you can get the other side and drag it out like so. And with this, with the middle bit, you can push it back in like that. And you can, when you're, when you're smudging as well, I try not to, I use it kind of, it's a bit too straight. But don't use straight lines because it looks terrible. But um, yeah, smudging, and use circular motions then. You can go into it and drag out a darker part. You don't want to drag in drag out a bright part. Like that. Yeah. It's looking okay. Right. And you can drag and that's gonna drag in this way bit. So it's always circular motions, don't be using straight. And so, well, as soon as you zoom in, in you want to grab just the edge of it. You don't want to be grabbing in here, because when you're grabbing here, you're going to drag it all the cyan. You just want to be dragging the edge, just bring it in the dark bits, you know, like that. So you zoom out and see. Boom, boom. Well, you all, what you want them to do with smudging is you want to create depth. Because where it's bright here, you want to get uh, to show like uh, a kind of 3D feel where it's, uh, it's not flat. You don't want it flat. You see where I'm going from bright to medium and then dark. With circular motions. I'm not going to worry about the outside of it too much, I'm just going to focus on the inside. Because, uh, that's something I'm holding here. Like that may as well be a wee dot on its own, if you know what I mean. <coughs> Excuse me. And you see where where it's medium here and then kind of a little line where, where it um, touches the bright cyan you don't want that so you want to try and get rid of that 
it's kind of smudge it out like like that but you can have a darker here and you can have kind of like a drop off kind of effect like I'm trying to this like black over So it kind of gives it a kind of a drop effect. It's like it's rays and thoughts. I hope it makes sense. Like it makes sense to me. So I talk shit. <laughs> uh. See the way it's kind of like well, I'll do it. you can kind of get the gist of the, the smudge here. So it's in there, and it's kind of dark in the middle, bright, and then light. It was kind of a really kind of feel to it. And we're just still we're still on only on the the beginnings of the smudge now. Like, just a few more wee tricks. the outside of this just so because uh, the outsides are it's just not the bits I was showing you like the inside really so you could walk on the outside then and, uh, it's just the idea of the smudge I'm not going to show now if um, never mind with them the, the perimeter of that wee smudge the little smudge sorry and I'm going to zoom out and see the way you can kind of get the gist of as much what way it's going to turn out if you had a, a document that you were working on and uh, what way it would uh, it would uh, it looks all right there another cool wee trick to do is um, like you can get a smaller brush then like, and you can go even smaller and went through this way this is what I'm on with the resolution see if I zoomed in like this you see them pixels then if you had the uh, lower or lower resolution you won't be able to zoom in that this close but if you got a smaller brush again, you could go in and do it again, like little smaller designs in here. And uh, keep going like that there. Uh, so it's too small, too big, sorry. Keep going like so. Well, uh, that's the smudge. You see the outcomes. Hope they'll help. And that's it. Well, that's the end of the tutorial, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and it was useful to you. And um, don't forget to post your outcomes in the comment section below and uh, as well I, I take custom orders if you want to tag me hit me up on um, DeviantArt I'll leave the link for my DeviantArt account in the link below bye bye